Hello, this is Steve Warshaw, the Trade Detective from RecordPriceBreakout.com, and today I'm doing a quick video to show you how to take a set of stocks out of Zignals.com and uh, put them into a comma-separated list that you can use on StockFetcher.com. So here I have my pseudo can slim screen already put in. Uh, you can read about this in the article that this video is attached to. And the next thing I do is very simple. I just click on copy and I click results and that's going to copy it to your clipboard. And then what you do is you start up um, notepad plus plus and you paste it up. You know what? I skipped a step. You have to start up Microsoft Excel go and what we're going to do is we're going to paste this into Excel and all we're going to do is we're going to select the symbols only from Excel and turn that into a copper comma separated value so here comes Excel and we'll paste that in and then here's your symbol list so we're just going to copy that and then we'll make Excel go away. Okay, so now we're going to paste that into um, Notepad++ and then what we're going to do is you're going to do View and you're going to go Show Symbol All Characters and what you'll see is is that it shows you that there's a carriage return and a line feed and what we want to do is we want to replace that with commas so what I do is I put my mouse at the end of the symbol so SWI put the mouse right after the I hold down the shift key and press the down arrow and what that's going to do is it's going to, or sorry not the down arrow, the right arrow and what it's going to do is it's going to select that carriage return and line feed so then you press the control P and press R and what it's going to do is you see how there's a gray box in the find part of here it's actually placed that CRLF in here and then all you have to do is click on comma because that's what you want to replace it with untick the selection box in what you want to find through and then now when you do find it'll start finding the CRLF and so what we're going to do is we're going to do replace and find again boom boom and you can just do replace rest and then what you'll see is now you have a nice comma separated list here and you can then copy and paste these into stockfetcher.com so uh, that's it and I hope you find this useful thanks